Saturday and um, I just bought my ticket to go to the morning calm garden which is in Gapyeong, South Korea um, I just kind of wanted to get out of Seoul and I'd never been to this garden and I had been wanting to go so I said you know it's a really nice day it actually has been raining it's been raining a lot so the weather cooled down a bit but I was like since the weather is nice this weekend let me just go somewhere sorry I'm looking for the H&M oh here it is so anyway I bought my ticket and I have like less than an hour my train will be here at 2 15 and it's like one let me see what time it is hold on it is 1 16 so I have an hour to spare before my train gets here so I said you know I'm at Yongsan station Yongsan station it's like also it's a train station and it's also I'm trying to like sorry it's a train station and it's also a mall so I said you know let me waste some time here I'll waste some time here <laughs> waiting for my train and then um, I wanted to take you guys with me so you could also see the garden so that is my adventure for today so the new thing now is I have to call this number I have to call this number if I go into um, like any building I go to. Even when I go to the grocery store, I have to call this number to let to check in because I don't have a QR code, and it lets them know that I'm that I was in the location of you know something with the virus occurred. So, hello, I made it to Gap Young. I really like this area. Um, it's just so peaceful. Oh, and it's not crowded. So I went to the, the concession stand to get some snacks, something for me to eat for energy. And I ended up meeting some other foreigners, as you know, as foreigners. They started talking to me and, um, you know, just like conversation, like, oh, where are you going? I'm going here. Oh, we're going here. Da, 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 da. and I feel like dang like <laughs> I'm so not used to talking to foreigners that much I was just like wow they're talking a lot and I should be used to it because I'm a foreigner but in Korea they don't do that so I was, but it felt really good just to talk to other foreigners and they're like you should come camping with us and I'm like girl girl I'm not prepared for camping I'm just coming for a day trip but I really wanted to get their their information but I didn't they didn't mention it so I was like I don't want to mention it but um some of them were from the UK and the other ones were from the state so yeah anyway now I'm waiting for the bus I have to I made it to the station so now I have to catch the bus which is like I think 24 minutes to the garden and then we will be there but in, in the meantime I'm going to enjoy my Korean version of a Kit Kat bar and some water look at this view I I feel like I'm getting energy again like oh, I, me feeling depleted in Seoul like I come out here it's not crowded and it's like that's how I feel Taking this in. Something I've learned about myself 
since coronavirus or the social distancing here is that I am an overthinker. I did not know I was an overthinker. Um, and then social distancing, like not being around my friends all the time when at work I'm the only foreigner. There's the, the, the some people at my job, they speak English, but it's, it's culturally, it's not the same. So I'm at work by myself and I stayed at myself at work and I talked to, you know, I talked to, I talked to them, but like I said, just culturally, it's different. So an example is they, they know English, but the way, you know, you can, you can, people can say the, they can say at, they can say dog, but the way it's said and the way that the other person receives it, it may not be the way that, um, you, you told them, they may not receive it the way that you told them. And so, um, I realize that happens a lot at work when I'm, you know, trying to just have light conversation with them. And it got to the point, I guess I get frustrated. And I'm just like, you know what, just forget about it. Like, don't worry about it. I don't want to communicate anymore. And so that's caused me to kind of like stay to myself. And so staying, you know, I, I think a lot. I think a lot. And then I go home and I think some more. And then, you know, I'll edit pictures or watch some YouTube videos. And, you know, like that's a lot of time. And then when I, you know, travel and stuff, I'm by myself. So I have a lot of time to think. And I realized I was um, out one, one night with a friend and um, we were talking. I was like, oh, I thought this, da 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 da. <laughs> and they started laughing. And they were like, you know, you're such an overthinker. They were like, stop thinking so much. And I realized, you, and, you know, like, wow, I, I do think a lot. And I need to work on that, not being such an overthinker because it's not good for your health. It's not good for your, your energy, you know, like already living in Seoul is hectic. And on top of that, you know, living in a busy city, a busy crowded city, and being over it just doesn't match well i feel it does not match well and i realized you know i never my brain i feel like it never really slows down until i'm out like out in open space i'm out in nature it's not crowded and then i feel like i'm so happy and i feel like my energy that was depleted is now being uh what is it revived uh, so I, I want to work on that. I don't want to be an overthinker anymore. I think that's why I like traveling. I like nature because it's like I'm surrounded by, by something I know that man could not create. Like it's only God that could, 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 could create this. You know, I'm in his creation. And to me, it's just like, ah, oh, like, Lord, I know you're real. And, you know, I can... I can hear him, I can, you know, I can, I see what he's done, I see the beauty, and I don't know, I'm just really happy when I'm in nature and I'm not in crowded areas, and, you know, just, sorry, there's people coming, so I'm trying to like, but anyway, let me move some like out of the sun but um yeah I realized that about myself during this pandemic and so I, I want to work on that yeah just taking all of this in while I can
also they have a restaurant they have a bakery and they have a cafe but all of them are closed I'm not sure if it's because of the virus or because it's getting later and they closed so um, I did not get to have dinner here but that's okay um, it was a nice day trip um, I recommend if you decide to visit the Morning Calm Garden you can also visit the Petite France it's like a little France type of I wouldn't say theme park but it's I don't know how to describe it but it's a cute little other outing that you can do and they have Nami Island which I've been there twice I really like Nami Island I've never been to Petit France but I'll try to go again another weekend for a day trip so I recommend um, something that you should try out and I hope you enjoy this vlog I'm gonna end it here until I see you next time bye